faces a challenging task against this good Mariners team. His first pitch misses in on Rodriguez. He's had a tremendous first half. He's going to the All-Star game and will be in the home run derby. He does strike out a little bit, 96 times this year. And he comes up empty there, the count one and two. Martins one two. Yeah, that misses just off that inside corner. Pitches that weren't in the zone the first month or so of the season. Two two pitch. And he stays alive. Two two pitch. Hmm. Martin didn't miss by much. He was shooting for that out this year offensively as they force pitchers to work. There's a swing and a miss. And Perez strikes out Rodriguez to get us going tonight. One away. He was originally in the lineup at shortstop, and he was a, I don't know how late the scratch he was, but let's just say he was a scratch. Tenth in the league with that 302 average. And he takes right on the inside corner for strike two. And Perez gets him to foul that one away. It stays 0-2. Then we are. 0-2 pitch. And that's tapped foul. Well, he's on the bench, so it's not COVID-related. Yeah. As we wait for the 0-2, here it comes. And again, just slightly off. He's been shooting corners here and for hitters to go after. Pitches they can't really do anything with. We'll get the called strikes. There's one as an example. Hopefully get himself a, a better pitch and Martin has something to say about that. He goes with the change up but way off. Martin zone just about everything up there but the glove. 2-2 two -two and a swing and a miss. He gets him on the fastball. These Mariners Reach base safely in 13 of the 14 games he's played with them. And he lifts this one out into short right field. Coming on for it, though, is Adolis Garcia. And there is Martin Perez thanking his teammates and being told in front of his teammates. To good. As he goes to work here in the second, now with a 3-0 lead. And he pins that one right on the corner to Eugen. Here is Suarez. 16 homers and he takes that one right at the top of the zone for strike Suarez in a defensive position now here it comes that didn't miss by a whole lot it's interesting watching the pitch away and so uh, that was a common way that he was pitching and now it looks like he's going hard in today he doesn't want to let Suarez so far and it looks like that's where they want to go again the payoff on the way and that's too far in and so Suarez will be the first base runner of the night for Seattle. Rare days where you don't give up a run, especially these days in the major leagues, a home run. But he has been keeping the ball in the ballpark. Martin had at the beginning of the year of 60 plus innings without a home run. So remarkable. Boy, he just misses that lone end corner there to Jeff. Here's the 2 0, and that's fouled back. Martina, the first inning needed 16 pitches. Picked up a couple. That took Heim a moment. I think he's got Perez on the same page. There's a broken bat pop up foul. I think it was a broken bat or did he? Martin looks at him anyway in the 2 2. And that is strike three called. Winker goes down looking. One away. So I'm at it first now for Cal Raleigh. And he'll take in uh, the catcher hitting 200 this year. But he does have power, 12 home runs. Balls. Got a catcher up there. Maybe this would be a good spot. That's just off the plate. 2 and 0 the count. Here it comes. And it's 2 and 1. Take him a, a long time and fills a, a big role for them back behind the plate. And that one is inside. Two, three, and one, rather. And 
That's low. Ball four is second walk in the inning. And he just misses off that upside corner for ball one. They have won 13 of them. And there's a strike. So they've gone 13 and four in games. One one pitch. And that one is turned foul. They both have been absolutely brilliant. One two. And that is strike three called right there at the bottom of the zone. And for Perez, his foe. Switch hitting middle infielder. And a breaking ball in there. Strike one. Toro was the guy who was the late insert into the lineup today. And Perez gets him to foul that one away. It's 0 2. Toro was the, the guy that the. Two strike pitch. Yeah, that's ball one. It was kind of one of those situations, too, where. It seemed like an odd move. Baseball, you, you trade from a position of power because their bullpen was so spectacular last year uh, with a lot of no-name guys. You know, you had Drew Steckenrider. You had uh, case strikeouts per inning. And so they made that move, and Toro paid dividends right away. Yeah, and here after the Astros were playing the Mariners in Seattle, and I believe that Toro hit a home run, and it may have even been a grand slam off of baseball. And they have very, very high hopes now. The 3-2, that's in the dirt. Ball four. Martin has walked the bases loaded. It's only been one ball in play. There's a swing and a miss by Haggerty. And he comes up empty. The count 0-2. Base is loaded, two out. And the 0-2 is low. 30 pitches in the inning now for Perez. First. Here it comes. And that is low. Hmm. We talk about making not chasing the way you want him to. 2-2, two -two, and he got him swinging. And Martin pumped up. He strikes out. These are critical four games. And it is a it's it's a big opportunity. I think that's the way the Rangers see it. He's under 500 at the moment. And Perez runs that one in tight. Well, that's the other part of it. And this one on the ground, right side of the infield. Simeon is there. And he'll throw out Rodriguez and yeah. A member of a front office about a time like this with the deadline approaching. Oh, this ball smashed out to left field. Calhoun going back, and that one off the top of the fence. France heads to second, and he is in there. It's a one out double. And Perez finds the outside corner for a strike. There's Deals low here, one and one. These Mariners have made him work. Look out. Two and one. The Mariners have had a good plan. They came in playing well, they had a good offensive plan, and they've stuck to it. Santana, another one of those guys. In the American League. Two two. That's inside. And to your point about Santana, more walk. 3 2 pitch and a swing and a miss. Santana strikes out. Second inning. And he takes one in. So this is interesting because we, we watched just a little. Well, especially with a base open right now, you can afford to take a chance because try to exploit that until he proves otherwise. Three and zero, oh. and I mean, these aren't even that tempting than Eugenio Suarez. So why let him hurt you? There's a strike, three and one. A lot of baseball fans they may not be aware 
of what Suarez has accomplished. And that was a pretty good pitch, but that's ball four. Just missed. That's a that's a single game high for Martin and Winker just does fight that one off. Heim and Perez come together on an idea. This one fouled off by Winker. When you come to the ballpark, you know, you want to see something that you don't really see every day. And Perez would settle for one here, the 0-2 pitch, and that is just a little bit down low. The Mariners left the bases loaded last inning. Here's the 1-2, and it's another foul ball. You're back with the club. Been away the last three seasons. Stays one and two on Winker. And excited to be a, a Ranger again. One two pitch and a little tapper. First base side. Lowe's going to have to hustle it over to first. He does, but Perez was off the bag. He got over there, but uh, kind of a prime example right there is the pitch to Raleigh is turned foul. Away from the middle of the plate like these guys do. Usually you avoid barrels. Perez looking for a seventh strikeout of the night, and he just misses there. One and two. We are not quite as enticing. It's a long foul ball strike. Stays one and two on Raleigh. Base is loaded, two out. And it's one two to Raleigh. And that'll even the count of two balls and two strikes. Some good takes to take pitches, work counts. Two two. And this one has popped up. Just behind the infield right side. And Simeon will make the catch the inning. This year, but nonetheless, getting swings and misses and using the good part of the strike zone. There will pop up on the first pitch here to Jonah Heim. And that's how we begin the fourth inning. Walked in the second inning. And Martin, he gets a call right there at the bottom of the zone. One strike pitch. And that's in the same spot. This time, tapped to second base. And Simeon throws out Torres. Asked him, since he has been the ace of this staff this year, if he finds a way to get through six and he can get a quick, easy out here, very well might. Well, it'd be a lift. Both teams have had to use their bullpens pretty excessively lately. Only two on Haggerty. But the Mariners, their back is against the wall at the open of this series. Their bullpen was. And that one is up. Two and two. Real quick. He's got what he want from behind the 2 2 pitch. That one's lined out to center field. And it gets past Tavares. That's going to be trouble. Haggerty on his horse around second. He's heading to third. They wave him frantically. Here comes the throw to the plate. It is just up the line. And Haggerty with an inside the park homer. And it keeps things going now for Julio Rodriguez. And he foul tips that one, strike one. As well. One strike pitch. And that one is fouled off his instep. How about it? Pretty impressive. He has delivered on the promise. And there is strike three called. He'll go down looking second. With that pitch count north of 85 already. And he runs that one in tight on France. He just hasn't had his best command tonight. He's not going to give them any more free base runners. And this is low, 2-0. Oh. This might be one of those, Murph, where after the game we hear from Mars didn't have it. But I did my best to navigate as many innings as I could, kind of thing. And it just shows the how far he's come. 
if he can mint the game in the past, and you know, this is a challenge here for him. But look at that pitch. Well, he freezes France. Mission at that point was to go at least two more innings, put up two zeros, so he could save the bullpen. Uh, and he felt like he's still one of Martin Perez in a Rangers uniform. And it's so refreshing to see the way that he's able to maneuver his way through a game absolutely night and day as far as the mound is concerned. Absolutely. And that's that's the mark of a great teammate. Not that he wasn't a good one before, but he's able to kind of follow through on what he wants to do and, you know, wants his best night to execute when he has needed to dig down deep. He's just done it. He did it did there. Uh, to France 100 so Garrett Richards the first man to start throwing Santana lofts this one out into left field and Calhoun is there two away I want to bring up Eugenio Suarez so it looks like five innings will it looks like that's where they want to go again this time it's just a little bit low that was several years ago in 2019 while in a twins uniform and he did it to tie his career high here's his 2-0 pitch and that is ball oh, pardon me that is a strike two and one now the lefties pitch this one fouled away so now he's a strike away from getting Suarez. Let's see if he can get him. The 2-2. And that's up. Full count. Struggling to agree. And now they have it. Here's the 3-2. And that is strike three called Suarez down looking.